It's time for another musical interlude. Let's get started. Talking with people with music in their genes, their blood, and in their soul. You are watching Musical Interlude. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Musical Interlude. I am your host, Casey Bell, and Fred McCarty of Belgium is here with me today, of course, virtually. Let's get started. When did you first discover your, your love for music? Oh, it was a long time ago, you know. When I was uh, five or six years old, <clears throat> I used to, to, to bang on the... Uh, on buckets with my <laughs> with sticks and uh, uh, I played little concerts for the the neighborhood and and so on 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 buckets. So my my parents decided to to offer me my first drum kit, which I, I broke in, uh, in two weeks, I think. Or so so it's it, it was really 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 early in my life. When did you discover? Um becoming a one-man band? Um, I think it, it happened uh, a, bit, uh, a bit randomly. Uh, I tended to, to learn every instru instrument from my side um, and, uh, and, 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 and someday I, did, uh, I told myself why don't you make something alone? But when I when I started to do this, uh, uh, the, the the biggest technology we had was a four track on cassettes. So it, it changes a bit uh, from what we know now, you know. Um, so uh, at the time I I couldn't afford a, a four track cassettes, so I had to record on a on a cassette deck. And uh, played, uh, I played drums on a, on a single cassette, and then played this cassette, and record the bass on another cassette deck, and you, you know it was it was a night it was a nightmare uh, at the end. But I knew pretty early uh, that I wanted to do something alone. It was about uh, beginning of the 90s, so uh, nearly 30 years ago. <laughs> When did you first get into the business as a professional? Um, as a professional musician, so a performer, my first really uh, professional um, performances was when I was 16. I was studying at the, the, the high school of music and I was a guest, uh, guest musician for symphonic or opera orchestras in my in my city so this these were my very first steps as professional but i also performed when i was 10 year old 10 years old in um, in 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 ball orchestras you know playing for for evenings and uh, dance music and so so it was really 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 uh really early um how do you say that Vocation. <laughs> so when you first got into the business side of music, was there anything you learned that might have been challenging or shocking to you? Mm, but shocking, shocking, no, but I, I'm not really in the music business, you know, I'm, I'm a, bit, a bit a part of it because the, the music business is mainly uh, focused on singles. You know the, the the song, and I'm not in this kind of uh, of mood. I'm a bit a uh, I'm a bit an old guy, uh, an old school guy. You know, I when I make music, I like to make whole albums complete. So one big song divided in ten chapters or, or something like that. So this is something that I'm not really in, and I don't really understand. I I understand the concept, but I think. It's so cool to have a, a full album, you know, 45, 50, 15, 55 minutes as, as a whole. And uh, I think, uh, I think th this single, this single um, focused business has ruined so much bands. 
since the, the 70s, you know, in the 60s, 70s, band uh, threw all their money in the single. And the rest of the album was really not good. You can you can hear mistakes on on this on on this album. While if there was no um, pressure on the on the on the single, they couldn't have made better albums, you know. And I'm in this kind of uh, of mindscape. If you if you see what I what I want to see. <laughs> Talk about your latest album, Metro Expo 2. What was yes. the inspiration? Well, um, uh, as you might know, with my Metro Expo project, which I do all alone, uh, the, the project is to do only concept albums. You know, a, a story or a, or a feeling declined in the, in on 10 songs. In fact, the, the band name, the full band name is Metro, Ex, Metro Expo Decalogies. So I made a concept album with 10 songs. <laughs> and my goal is to do 10 albums of 10 songs. So <laughs> I don't know if I, if I can do it. But the inspiration, um, it, it's always quite, quite the same, you know. Um, I, um, I want to, to, to tell a story. On, the, on these ten, ten, 10 songs and um, inspiration well I don't know I don't have any inspiration at when I begin the project from Expo Expo I, uh, I, I, I leave myself guide with the music you know I grab my guitars and scratch some some score some chords and okay this is fine and then I'll build the story on it why, why you're telling this? I'm currently writing the number three, and uh, it's complete opposite from number two, and complete opposite from number one. So the inspiration, well, I don't know. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know. Uh, I want to make to have ten songs that sound well together, and if I if I could tell a story with it, it's it's fine to me. <laughs> That's no problem. <laughs> so you're saying you basically just let the music itself be the inspiration you just create as you go right and yes happen yes that's exactly it but when i when i write music uh, i i have to to have i need to have images that come to my mind when i write you know for, for example the, the the song number 1 from metro expo 2 is called the mountain and uh, when I when I composed this song, I figured myself playing guitar on the top of the mountain. You know, uh, an early 19th clip, video clip with uh, King's X uh, with a helicopter turning around you and filming you with long hair on the mountain. So I called it the mountain. So <laughs> I can't I can't be more pragmatic than this. So uh, then uh, then okay, I have uh, the, the mountain. Uh, what would the mountain mean? Okay, the mountain is the end of the adventure. I currently, I'm my my character is in the desert, and he has to go to that mountain to finish his mission. And so it gives me uh, hints to to hints or clues to buy the story as far as I go. And uh, every time I have another song, I go, what 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 do I see when I write this? Okay, I see a merry-go-round. Okay, a merry-go-round. Go on, go on. How can I use it in the story? Okay, uh, okay. The merry go round means, um, sorry, I'm, uh, means um, a fair ground. Okay, what about if he leaves the desert and the first step of his story is a fair ground? Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, what's in the fair ground? A bearded lady, uh, midgets, and uh, that's, that's how I bite my story, you know, and. Uh, no, actually, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my last question for you, even though you are a one-man band, if there was anyone who inspires you that you would like to collaborate with or create a song with, who would it be? Um, someone uh, famous or? Anyone, and they can be anyone. dead or alive. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'd like to work with... Uh, two people mainly mainly peter gabriel 
because uh, that's my idol, and uh, Pete Townsend. <laughs> ah. You know, <laughs> I guess you're not surprised with it. <laughs> Pete Townsend uh, was the not, not the creator of musical operas or sort of thing like that, but I really love that guy. No, man, he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Against my will With my device And a bag full of pills This overwhelming heat Makes me feel ill So I swallow a yellow pastel And I have a chill I've been dropped here On my own Start my device for steps in the unknown Medication helps me feeling like a newborn The sooner the mission starts The sooner I'll be back home Let's go to the mountain Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'd like to thank my viewers and the audience for taking the time to watch this episode of Musical Interlude and, of course, to Fred McCarty, the one-man band. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Thank you all. Have a great day.